Hi guys, welcome to another session of Study PPC. Today we are going to look at how to create a display campaign with content targeting. Content targeting is a feature in Google Ads which helps you to target websites based on their website content. Uh, so we'll see how to create this campaign. Let's begin with that. In order to create a display campaign, we're going to first choose the goal of the campaign. Let's say we're looking at sales. And in this, we're going to select the campaign type as display. We are going to create a standard display campaign because with that you can choose content targeting and we can continue. We are going to give a name to this campaign. Here we have to start giving all the details regarding the campaign like we have done earlier as well. You can give your location targeting. As you can see, I have given India over here. And then you can choose your language targetings as well. You can also provide a specific bidding strategy. For this campaign, I'm keeping it as maximize conversions. You can also give a budget for this campaign. After which we are coming to the ad group level where you can name the ad group. The system will give you the option of targeting in two specific manners. One is going to be automated, which basically means the Google algorithm looks at the insights, it looks at site visits and your best performing keywords to find out which will be the right websites to target and show your ads on. Or you can choose manual targeting wherein you will be able to go ahead and select your audiences, demographics and content. So for today's session, we're going to look at manual targeting. Now under manual targeting, what we are specifically going to look at is content targeting. Content targeting provides you with three options. The first one is called display keywords, which is basically an option wherein you provide a list of keywords to explain the nature of your business with the help of which the Google display network finds out websites relevant to you and then our ads are targeted on them. It is also called contextual targeting. The second one which we have over here is topic targeting which is basically a concept wherein all the websites are broken down into various topic categories and now you can select these categories based on your business relevance. And the last one is going to be placement targeting wherein you can choose specific websites, videos to target your ads on them based on your content of your business. So let's start with keywords. So here as you can see under keywords, you can start providing your details regarding your business. These have to be business keywords really, which describes your product and services. So one by one, you can provide these keywords in this particular manner. The more keywords you provide, the better the system is able to understand your business. So I would suggest that you can provide the most relevant ones which directly explains your business in the right manner. You can also use the panel on the right hand side which gives you an option to provide your website URL and with the help of which the system gives you certain suggestions, keyword suggestions to consider. The next one is going to be topic targeting. So let's have a look at this. As I said, in topic targeting, you will get multiple topic categories to select from, from different sectors of work. And now you can search for the one which is relevant to your business by scrolling through the whole list. They also provide some subcategories for each one of them. So you can have a look at that as well, whichever is relevant to your business in this particular manner. If you want, you can select your categories from here one by one or else you can also search for it in the search box provided which gives you options to select from there as well. In this manner we are going to do our topic targeting in the display campaign and the last one is going to be placements. With placements as I told you you will be able to choose and target specific websites on which you would like to show your ads. So they give you an option to target websites, you can target YouTube channels, YouTube videos, apps and app categories. So let's have a look at it. 
So if you want to select target specific websites, what we do is we first choose the category which is websites and now here you can mention the business you are doing. So the, what the system will do is it will give you all the websites related to your business and it will also tell you what is the traffic coming on those websites on a weekly basis. So now as you can see over here these are the websites which Google is suggesting us and if you want you can have a look at their traffic on a per week basis and whichever ones you want you can select from here. In the same manner you can go through the YouTube channels which are relevant to your business and you can select some of them from here. Similarly, YouTube videos, specific videos related to your business, you can find over here and you can target them. And you also have apps to target as well. So your ads will show on these particular apps. When people download them, they will be, when they're using these apps, they will find your ads on inside these apps. If they're interested, they can click on it and reach your website. The last option is going to be app categories wherein you have options to select from Google Play Store specific categories related to your business. So now what's going to happen is in Google Play Store related to your business, the ads will show over there. Apart from this, with placement targeting, you also have an option of entering multiple placements, which basically is a situation wherein you can, if there are specific websites which you want to target you and you know that those websites are a part of the Google network, you can just type out their names in this particular manner and add them. Also, you will get an option if you want in with the help of multiple placements, uh, you also have an option to add a complete list of web placements which you want to target over here. So in this manner guys, we are going to do the complete content targeting and then we straight away come into the ad creation part. Now as you can see, this is going to be a responsive display ad. So what we do is the first thing they ask you to provide is the final URL. Final URL is going to be the landing page where people will reach once they click on your ads. So we're going to provide our final URL over here. And then you can provide the images as well for this display ad. The system will automatically scan your website and pick some images from there. So if you want, you can select those and use them in the ad or else you can also provide your Facebook page and your Twitter page for the system to scan them and pick some images from there. If you don't want to use those images, you can also go to the stock images section of Google where you can provide your website and the stock images, Google will try to find out some relevant images based on your website content. So from here, you can select your images and you can put it in your ad. The next thing is you also have an option to add a video. If you have a video specifically of your business, you can absolutely go ahead and use it over here. Okay. And make use of it in the advertisement. Then we are supposed to provide our headlines. So one by one, you can use and provide your headlines. In this particular manner. Provide as much information as you can because this would help to grow the business. The more information you provide, it increases the probability of people clicking on your ads.
Once you have provided all the details, then you can save the ad. You can also give your business name. So now as you can see, we have created the ad. If you have a tech team, you can also get your ads created outside. You don't need to use the Google tool provided over here. And you can just go ahead and upload the ads with this option. If you go through this, if you are going to use this particular option, then you just need to be cautious about the supported sizes and formats which Google uh, is compatible with. So in, in this case, uh, they are able to create ads which is GIF, JPG, PNG. Also the maximum size which they are supporting right now is 150 KB. These are going to be the dimensions of the ads which you can get created by your tech team. Once you have got it created, you can just upload it over here and you can run your campaign. In this particular manner so now you can see in this way we will be able to create a simple display campaign with content targeting I'll just show you how the campaign will look like now as you can see on the top this is going to be my display content January 4th and this is my ad group now when I click into the ad group I you can see this is my ad which has gone under review and now when you click on it, you can find the preview of the ad of how it is going to come up. On the left panel, if you see, you will find all the content targeting we did today. So we did topics. Okay, you can see topic targeting over here. Apart from that, you can also find the placements. All right, and keywords are here, as you can see. All right, I hope this was useful. You are able to understand how to create a display campaign with content targeting. If you like this video, you can, you can go ahead and like this video. And if you like, uh, the content then you can subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you so much for today guys